Hello friends! I feel like I haven't filmed a video about books in such a long time and that needs to be changed. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the books that I really, really, really want to read this summer. Now that classes are over, I'm super excited to start on my summer reading list. Um, I feel like there's a lot of books so I might not get through them all but at the very least I hope to finish them by the end of 2018. So without further ado, these are the books I want to read this summer. So the first book that I want to read is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert and I feel like this book mmm I know this is an autobiography but at the same time it doesn't seem very realistic unrelatable for most people but at the same time I'm gonna be traveling this summer and just the whole idea of leaving behind everything and traveling and finding yourself is like very attractive to me <laughs> That seems like such a cliche, but I just wanted to read it and see whether or not I would experience the same thing myself. So I'm excited to read it. <laughs> Next, I want to read a book series by V.E. Schwab. Um, I have the first two books and the first is A Darker Shade of Magic, which I actually just finished rereading and there were so many things that I didn't notice the first time. I basically forgot everything that happened um, from the after the first time that I read it. So I'm really glad I reread it and I'm really excited to continue on with the series. So after that, I have A Gathering of Shadows, which I've already started and it is so good. It is so good. I'm so excited. I decided to pick the series up again. I still have to pick up the third book, A Conjuring of Light, but you bet believe I'm reading that the minute I finish this one. In case you aren't familiar with the series, this is basically a uh, young adult fantasy series. It's very dark and it's centered around three different kinds, three different Londons and there's a lot of politics. They're, I love the characters. They're so strong and they're so unique and there's definitely some very dark elements but I think V.U. Shrop does such a good job of building up these unique characters with complex motivations and she just does such a good job of making the most beautiful and hopeful moments arise out of like absolute destruction and heartache. So I'm really excited to continue on with the series and see how V.E. Schwab decides to destroy me this time. Next, I have a pretty big book. This is the second book in probably one of the most famous fantasy book series of all time and that is The King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss. So right now I'm reading The Wise Man's Fear which is the second book in the series and I have been saving this book for so long because I wanted to wait until the third book came out but I just couldn't wait any longer and I was worried that I would forget what happened in the first book so I've started reading it. I'm about like a third of the way through and it is so so good. I'm taking this slow and I probably won't finish it this summer. I kind of want to just draw this out for as long as possible because I just love the world so much. This series basically centers around this amazing magician called Quoth. It kind of follows his entire life as he tells the story himself. I think one of the best qualities about this book is definitely the writing style. It's lyrical and it really impresses me that there's there hasn't been any grammar mistakes because I feel like most books have one or two like printing errors as well but this is just so well written and the little details are just amazing to see and I love learning about the world. It has a really interesting university where people learn like all different sorts of magic. There's alchemy, um, there's metalwork. It's just really really interesting and I wish I was part of this world and there's also some badass female characters that I love reading about. The next book that I'm going to read is beautiful. It is A Brief History of Seven Killings by Marlon James and this was a winner of the Man Booker Prize and the reason that I actually picked this book up was because Marlon James came to my university to do a talk and I was going to go see him but unfortunately I was scheduled to work that day so I ended up missing the talk which made me really sad but I still really wanted to read this book. I don't actually know much about it. I believe racism is touched on in this book as well as Cuban or Jamaican culture. I might be wrong. Um, so it centers around the event where seven gunmen stormed and attacked Bob Marley and his family. So that sounds really interesting and I think it's a beautiful book. I feel like it's going to have some beautiful writing and I just think it's going to be something that's very educational as well as enjoyable to read. Okay, next I have a classic novel. This is a book that I've been wanting to read for a long time and it is, I believe, Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes. Um, again, I don't know much about it. I read a few pages of it a couple years ago and I remember thinking it was really interesting. It's supposed to be both extremely funny but also quite tragic. 
so i like that i like the idea that one moment i'm gonna be crying and the next i'm gonna be crying my heart out like that sounds like a good time to me. Something else that really attracted me towards this book is that it's set in Spain, which is super exciting to me since that is where I'm planning on going this summer. So I'm very excited to read this and just like picture myself in Spain and get in the mindset. This is my first ever poetry collection I ever bought and I'm so excited about it. It is Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman in this beautiful edition by Penguin Classics. Ever since I finished taking my poetry course this year, I couldn't stop thinking about Walt Whitman because I love the works we read by him. And I remember picking this up in the bookstore and just reading a few lines and just feeling like Walt Whitman gets me. I'm really excited to own this. And I also think since it is so compact and since I'm gonna be away for like two months this summer, this is definitely going to be a book that I can just pack and you know, like, pick up whenever I want to. I don't know how much time I'll have with my internship, but I feel like this will be a great thing that I can just read in the downtime and just find comfort in. So those are all of the books that I'm hoping to read this summer. I'm super excited about all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love it if you guys would share some of the books that you are excited to read or that you've read recently and really loved. So thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.